In a previous video, we created a contact form using contact form 7, which is, in my opinion, one of the best plugins for creating contact forms. But the style you get is pretty basic and it just happens with most of the contact forms. So we created these and it's very basic. It's like any other contact form and except uh, this uh, submit button, which is using the color of my theme, all other things are not really matching my brand. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make it look good and match your brand. So in this case, uh, we're going to achieve this result. So if I just bring appearance and uncomment the style that we're going to get, you can see that it's looking much better. So it might not be the way you want your contact form to look, I just want it to be an example, but we have centered the submit button, we have uh, make the text bigger, we have uh, give it rounded corners, change the colors of your uh, placeholder, which is not really usual, but I wanted to show you that you can get anything that you want, even uh, you can change the background color of your text fields and uh, also your drop down. So let's get it started. So we gonna, of course, use CSS and anything that we are doing here because uh, only relies on CSS will work regardless of your theme, your contact form plugin, anything because uh, they are just CSS, they are just the language of the web. So even if you are not using contact form 7, you're using, for example, WP forms, or maybe you just want to style form created by WooCommerce, it's just fine. All of them work. And also, there is one thing uh, we have two options here. The first one is to write our CSS. So we have to select some element and write the CSS. So you might not know CSS and uh, I guess that you probably do not know CSS if you're watching this video. I have a better way for you. We're gonna use a free plugin uh, called Site Origin CSS and I have just installed it here. So you can see that I have a new section, Custom CSS. If you want to get it, you have to install this plugin and uh, I have it here, it's called Site Origin Custom CSS by Site Origin. It's a really good plugin and you can just install it from the WordPress repository and then you get this section and you can paste any CSS or write any CSS that you want here. Of course, we do not want to do this because uh, you could just easily put your CSS uh, in the customizer and advanced CSS or any other CSS plugin. What we're gonna use is this I icon which brings the editor so if I just have to uh, just click on it and it brings the editor and now we can visually see select and change elements it's super cool so I'm just gonna delete all of this style because we're gonna start from the very basic form and just create it also I have uh, wrote uh, some of these lines using CSS so I will show you because for example I could not center the button from this plugin so i had to write the css myself or i could not select the drop down but all other options are just available through the plugin so i can just remove all of these lines and save it and now if i refresh okay let me bring it back again so now that i have saved uh, my css and if i just bring the editor you can see that we do not have any style here so the way it works is really simple. So you can select an element here. So for example, let's say we want to make these uh, labels larger. So I will select one of them and it will uh, show the selected element here. In this case, it's a label element. And if I just click on it, it will uh, show the selection. So as you can see, I clicked on one of the labels, but it's selecting all of them. And it's the way this plugin works. So uh, it's making a general selection. It might be sometimes bigger than the selection that you want, and sometimes it might be smaller or narrower, but usually it's good if it's a narrower, if it's uh, not selecting all elements that you want, then you can just select that other element manually and add it uh, and change the style. But in this case, it's just fine. So now I can just bring text and font size. I'm gonna use EM. And now if I just set it to 1.4 EM, you can see that making the text larger, super cool. And the next thing that I want to do is to give it a background color. And I'm just gonna use this uh, dark color here. And because I don't know the code here, maybe it's showing and maybe it's not. Oh, okay, it's not showing the color here. So uh, what I can just do is to grab my eyedropper from more tools and eyedropper. I'm using Firefox, but 
Uh, you can use any editor of your choice. You can just even take a snapshot and use online tools to get the color. And now if I just click here, it copies the color for me. And if I bring my form and select the big container and background color, I can just paste the code here. As you can see, it's working. And now we want to change the text color to white. So I can select it again and set it to white, fine. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to give this uh, boxes around the corner. So I can just select one of them. And if I review my selection, you can see that it's not selecting the drop down and also not the text area because it's only selecting input. So fine, we can just select them and bring decoration. You can see we have lots of options here, but uh, we're gonna use border radius and EM just is a really good unit for border radius and something like one EM should be good. Uh, and we now we have it. Uh, we also have to select this uh, box separately and now we can set it also to okay, border radius, sorry. One EM is working. Unfortunately, I cannot, it doesn't seem that, uh, I can select this uh, drop down. We can do it uh, manually by writing CSS. I will show you, but uh, it doesn't allow me to select it. So it just opens the drop down and I can just select the text here, not the actual drop down. Uh, fine. And if you want to give it background colors, you can, of course, do it. So let's just grab this screen so that we match the demo. So I can just grab this uh, green color. And now if I select this box and background color and paste it, we have it. Uh, I want something lighter, so maybe like something like this. And as you can see, we have uh, some white borders here. You can just simply remove them if you want to. You can also increase them if you want. So if I just set it to zero, we do not get these uh, lines here. Fine. I can just copy the code here and do the very same for this box also. So I can also remove the borders. Again, we cannot do it for the drop down here. And uh, it's uh, the style that we want. I can just save it by clicking on this check mark here and also save CSS. And now if I bring my website, you can see that we have the style that we want. Of course, uh, we are not getting the style for this drop down uh, and we are not centering the submit button for this purpose and also the hover state. It's really hard. We, you can select hover state, but it's easier through the CSS. So what we're gonna do here is basically using Firefox. I'm using Firefox. Also, Chrome has the same tools. Uh, Safari has the same tools. So uh, you have to bring a developer section and inspector is usually called inspector. So in this case, if I bring more tools and web developer tools, I get the inspector. So I can inspect elements here. For example, I can just select uh, this input button. So I can just select it and right click on it and copy and CSS selector. So we want to select it and we have to put the code somewhere. It's easier to just use the customizer. So if I just bring the customizer, even if you not, do not have that plugin, you can just simply use the additional CSS part of the customizer. And now if I just bring additional CSS, I can just paste the selector and it's this button. And for example, I can change the font size. I can set the font size into one EM or 1.4 EM. Okay, it's not working. Uh, Let's just add an important and now it's working. So whenever you add a CSS and it's not working, it's because probably because other uh, styles are overriding it. So by just adding exclamation mark and the word important before the semicolon, you can just make it work. You can just override other styles. Fine. Uh, if you want to center it, we have to select the bigger box that contains it. So we cannot just select itself, of course, but the bigger box. So if I just select it, it's the element, it's inside the P element here. So I can just select this uh, P and copy and CSS selector and just paste it here. 
and I can just set a text align to center. And now it's centered. Uh, I have a video talking about CSS for WordPress and you can just uh, watch that video. I talk uh, about this uh, idea as an important word, a text align. There are some uh, famous and usually used CSS that you can just uh, learn without actually going deep into CSS. So now we have it. And if you want to change the hover state, I can just copy it, of course, because it's like in this element, but I can just add a column and a hover. And now it's the hover state. And now I can just, for example, change the background color. So background color into let's say orange. Now, uh, okay. Uh, uh, there is one thing wrong here and that's because I'm copying the box here but we want the submit button so let's just fix it now if I just replace it and maybe important okay now it's working and also we can select uh, this drop down here I can just copy the CSS selector here and paste it and set the background color into anything that you want of course so in this case i'm just going to use this uh, color that we created so more tools eyedropper and this color and now if i just paste it here it's working we also want to get a rounded corner so border radius Sorry, radius. And now 1 em. Okay, fine. Also, we do not want to have a border, so border 0. And that's it. So I can just publish. I can copy this code and bring it uh, into my plugin. So all of my CSS are in one place. If you want to that, do that, it's just fine. And it's basically the way that you can style your forms and that's it everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And like always, you can reach our team from the link in the caption.